as so many times before when I release a video quickly after that I realize I should have added more information but this information is better in its own little video I guess and the information is this if you want to make one of these modules make one with a NAND gate and this is because with that you can with the four uh, logic gates in this module you can imitate or create all the other gates So let me show this this is now a NAND gate So when both inputs are high the output is low if you want to make this into an inverter then you just take the The same gate signal if we take that into the the passive multiplier up here and we just multiply this signal so we get the same signal on both pins so now this whoops now this is an inverter so when the input is high the output is, is low so we got an inverter if we want to make an AND gate we take two inputs and then we take the output and we divide that with the uh, with a multiple and into the second one here like so so now when both these inputs can you see that so when both these inputs are high the output is high and any other clock is it's not so this means that we by just connecting the them like this we got an AND gate so we could have two AND gates and to make an OR gate we need two let's put this one here to make a OR gate we do this, we take the two uh, outputs and we split them into two and we connect one of these, so both these inverted outputs no, now they become inverted outputs, so this is one not gate and then we add another one with the other split signal there functioning cable so now we have the two inputs from over here which are you can't see that let's move a bit more so these two outputs are high going in here and there we just double them and go into the one of the NAND gates and the other two into the other NAND gate and then the outputs of these come on go into a third NAND gate so now we get should get an OR kind of thing so if we watch this one, no input, no output. One input and we got an output or the other one we also got an output and both of them we also got an output. So with this we now have an OR gate. And finally to make a NOR gate we take the output of of this third uh, NAND gate uh, so the OR output and then we take that into let's see we take that into the multiple again we multiply this signal to both these inputs and now we have a NOR gate so this output should now be on when none of these two are on. So it's on and we have one on, it's off, the other one is off, both of them it's off, 
and none of them it's on so <laughs> but now we're using all the four gates in this one just to get one gate and lots of cables yeah so that's what I wanted to talk about in this video uh, again logic lots of fun once you understand it and it's uh, always uh, a fun thing to play with if nothing else just to get some blinking lights <laughs>